Hi everybody, uh, I wanted to put a little video together on a proof of concept I've been working on or put together. Um, it's basically, in a nutshell, uh, programmatically um, transporting uh, resources from air bases to other air bases. As you know, in DCS, you can't really program the um, resources. None of this stuff is programmable in uh, through the scripting language in DCS, or I guess not even in the mission editor, other than the default uh, stuff that you get set up where air bases will resupply other air bases on a timed basis. But there's nothing you can do programmatically at all. So uh, I saw that Funky Frankie put together a warehouse system uh, which is, I don't think was intended for this at all. It's not really made for that. And you should go check out the warehouse system in itself. It's basically a, um, a system uh, to simulate logistical operations. Um, and it's all program programmable, of course. Um, you could set up warehouses um, and... Uh, Assets between the warehouse warehouses are transported via helicopter, APCs, planes, what have you, even trains actually. And again, that's all easily programmable. It's all super um, customizable and super simple to to put together. It's it's a complicated system, but when you really get down to it, uh, everything just works really nicely internally. So I took that. Um, and built on top of it um, because everything was all autom automated and, and pretty much built right in so I only needed a couple lines of code essentially what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating uh, uh, simulated warehouses at Kovaletti, uh, Sanaki and Katelsi um, and Batumi as well I guess um, so what's going to happen is um, there's there's no uh, or actually there are a couple uh, planes here. I was almost lied. There's a couple. There's an F F15 and F18 here in case you wanted to jump in there and see for yourself what's happening. Because if you jump in there, there's no uh, A2A missiles there, so you can't really load anything up on the planes. There's no there's no uh, there's no resources here at all other than a couple of planes. Same same at these. Uh, other air bases here um, and the idea is to get airframes I mean technically it's it's to get the uh, the missiles and all the other resources uh, rockets fuel tanks obviously aircraft but everything else uh, flowing from one air base to another um, so what we have is uh, Kobaletti will request resources from Batumi and if they're available they will be sent there now this is done, you can't really send them with like a transport plane, so unfortunately, because again, that's a DCS limitation. So what we do is uh, we spawn uh, an F-18 or F-15, a flight of one or two or four. I have this all sort of randomly uh, programmed. Um, obviously, you can do whatever the heck you want. You could have it work off the, uh, the F-10 command menu if you wanted to and say, hey, send me some resources whatever you want it to do basically it's up to your imagination um, I'm just randomly requesting some resources um, from Matumi to, to Kovaletti and Sanaki and Katelsi will be randomly requesting resources from Kovaletti now if the resources aren't there uh, they just get queued up so as they arrive here uh, they might then get sent to one of these other um, um, air bases uh, so let's see, I'm just going to run the mission and we'll see stuff uh, automatically spawning and stuff as the requests come in. Um, I've got it, you know, I'm going to have to uh, speed it up, uh, etc. Because everything happens kind of slowly. It's not going to happen all at once. So let's speed things up a little bit here and we will, okay, so there's a request. Um, these are not my messages. These are coming out from the system automatically and they don't, don't stay there too long, especially if I have time compression. But essentially, something was requested at Kobaletti. 
Um, but Toomey has uh, all resources for now, just as a, just as a proof of concept. So uh, it's not going to run out. Actually, that's not 100% true. Uh, programmatically, I have a Toomey set up uh, for a certain number of assets. Um, so there's been a request made. It looks like a request uh, for some F-18s, uh, and I've I've got them set up in flights of two, uh, so they can request. Uh, one or two packages, I'll say, but that could be two or four uh, actual airframes. So they're being spawned there automatically. Uh, and this is all based on just a request. And I'm going to show you the code uh, in a little while. It's only a few lines of code. It's still super simple. So these planes will take off. Let's speed up time here because it'll take forever. They'll take off and fly to Kobaletti. Uh, should show this as they're on their way here. So Cobalt, if we take a look, there's no uh, missiles here for the moment. I wiped out the resources here, starting with uh, with zero. So we'll wait for these F-18s to come in. They'll land, park, and their assets or resources will be added to the air base there. Of course this takes even at 20 times speed it takes a little bit of time. It's another message just saying the assets were delivered. Okay so they finally despawned. If we take a look at the assets here uh, you'll see there's now uh, four 7Ms and four 9Ms. Now that, that that was whatever was loaded on those airframes and of course you can configure the airframes however you want uh, and spawn and use those as assets in the warehouse. So let's say you want to set up just uh, 7M delivery for example. You could set up uh, you know F-18s with uh, 7Ms only or whatever the case may be. It's up to you. I'll be programmed to your liking. Whatever you want to design. Let's speed things up. I'm surprised there hasn't been more flights taken off here. Here's another one ready to roll. F-18s again. Again, it's randomized, so anything could be happening here. Let's speed up time. Maybe we'll get a few more going. you got to be careful sometimes when you speed up time too much. Sometimes things don't work as nice. Okay, we got another flight taken off here. This time we got F-15s coming, so they just got a slightly different payload. Um, I think they're they're delivering some AIM AIM-120s in. Let's have another look here. Yeah, I think the F I, I configured the F-15s with AIM uh, AIM-120s. So a couple more just despawn there. We should see. Now, you'll also notice this freaking screen in DCS is buggy, so a lot of times you have to just close it, open it again, and you'll see their correct numbers. Let's speed things up again. Or were these guys... Oh, no, these guys just took off. Sorry. Okay, that's why I was kind of confused why there were looked like there were a little few um, when I was just looking at this last it looked like these numbers were low and they were it's because uh, a flight of F-18s landed but then these guys took off to deliver some resources uh, further out so they took uh, some of the resources away from Kovaletti, uh to bring probably looks like they're going to Katelsi so if we look at the Katelsi we got no A2A missiles there uh, those F-18s are bringing them up. These F-15s are landing, going to park. As soon as they disappear, there should be some AM-120s here. So they, okay, so they also they just disappeared. They also reappeared. Um, so they're they probably got a request again for either sec. 
Sanaki or Kobaletti. Or sorry, Katalsi. Yeah, so they're going up there. So there's probably no AM one twenties here at the moment. No, they took them all. So they were there for a few seconds. Uh, there's a couple more F fifteens coming in. What else we have here coming in? So now things are starting to heat up. Some more F-15s coming in. These 18s are about to land there. So let's slow things down once these guys land. Once these guys despawn. Okay, so they despawned. We should have some AIM-120s here. There where they are. Eight of them. Four apiece for those flights that came in. And speed things up again. And these guys despawn. So over here, we should have... There's the AIM-7s and the AIM-9s that were delivered. And what are these guys? These are F-15s again. So they should deliver something over here. There's nothing there right now. Okay, they just parked up. Should have some AIM-120s. They also delivered 9Ms. And there you go. Uh, the aircraft are also there as well. So there's two now. There's two aircraft. So you can use that as a way as well of uh, resupplying air bases with uh, aircraft. And that will keep going. Again, uh, this is all done programmatically uh, by the script that I wrote, uh, which I will show you now. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So here it is. Um, this is, uh, again, it's using uh, Funky's uh, warehouse system, which is built on top of Moose um, as well. I'll put the links, uh, I'll put some links in the video description. So pretty simple here. Uh, this is just a line to set up the warehouses. Uh, this is just all internal stuff. Just saying that um, uh, we're creating a warehouse near uh, Sanaki, Batumi, Kobaletti, and Katelsi. Uh There is a static that you put down. It's a warehouse static. If it's close enough to uh, one of the air bases, then it it defines that warehouse and uses that air, uh, air base uh, for requests. So if you need a flight to go from that warehouse, um, it will use that um, air base. So that's why these are defined there. Uh, these are just starting the processes for those uh, warehouses. So four lines, just start command. Um, and everything else is handled pretty much automatically uh, by funky system. Now this is uh, adding an asset. So these are assets that I'm adding. So I'm saying uh, Batumi has 40 um, F-15C2 ships. These are templates defined in the mission again. Um, so these are just units that you define in the mission. Um, and I'm just, you know, arbitrarily saying there's 40 of them available at Batumi. Same with the F-18C2 ships. Um, this is just a function that I'm going to be calling ran uh, in a scheduler. Um, but this is the important line here. Um, so this is just saying Again, this is all randomized. You can look at the code here. It's nothing comp that complicated, but it's basically a request saying, hey, I want something from going to this warehouse. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to explain this without getting into too many details. But essentially, this is just setting up a request. It's a very simple request from one warehouse to another. Um, yeah, it's not worth going through this code. Uh, again, this is all the logic I came up with. You could come up with any logic you want. Um, and it's a simple one line. Essentially, it comes down to a one liner saying, hey, I want an asset from this warehouse to another warehouse. Um, and that's it. Oh, actually, sorry. I, I kept trying to find what warehouse I was sending it to. So this is the warehouse doing the request. This is the warehouse. Uh, this is warehouse requesting from. This is warehouse uh, the assets going to, and we're telling it what what we want and how many. 
So that's it. That's this is essentially all you, you're really it comes down to one a one line call. And this is just me setting up some random stuff saying hey uh, we have a uh, stuff going from Batumi to Kovaletti and from Kovaletti to Kotelsi or Sanaki. Um, and then just some scheduler functions. So these 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 are running off a random schedule uh, to call stuff. That's about it. Um, again, it's it's such a a great system um, that's pretty simple to use. I'm not doing a great job at explaining it, but go check out the documentation on the warehouse system. You might want to use it not for this purpose, but for any sort of uh, logistical system that you want to come up with in game um, and you can use that for you know anything you want really um, we still have stuff going on here let's see how much has been delivered up here only four okay so probably a lot more has been delivered to Sanaki here yeah, so we got 48 AIM 9Ms now, 40 AIM 120s, and 8 AIMs, AIM 7s. So probably a lot more F F15s been landing up here. Yep. So that's uh, probably about all there is to show here. Uh, again, find the links uh, in the video description, and definitely check out uh, Funky's Warehouse System.